Good morning, everybody. How is everybody? Welcome to Cooking Up the Hill, everybody. How is it going? I know it's early. Um, just real quick, I'm just going to make some gravy and toast for my grandbabies. Um, they spent the night last night, uh, and they're still asleep, so I'm going to have them some gravy ready when they wake up. They love to dip the toast in it. You'll say dip it and they'll dip it. <laughs> they'll eat every bite of it. Oh goodness. <clears throat> so how's it going this morning guys? <clears throat> Alright. I put a little bit of my um, bacon grease in here you know from my Thing from my stove, and of course the pan's always too hot. Leave it to me. Leave it right to me. You take it off for just a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Let <laughs> me get my flour ready. And my whisk. All right, that should be good enough. I've also got some fresh green beans on, y'all. Oh my gosh, to go with that fried chicken we're having later. Yeah, I'm up doing things this morning. All right, let's put us some flour in here for our gravy. I've got two heaping teaspoons of flour. Let's see what that does. My loud mouth will probably wake the babies up. <laughs> that's okay. That's quite alright. And of course that's too much. I always do one or the other. Too much or not enough. And I'm just putting a little bit of oil in there because I'm out of, out of bacon fat. Because I used a lot of it for my green beans earlier and the rest of it in this a while ago. That is all right. You just want to work out the lumps. So you're stirring in flour with grease. Baking grease. I added a little bit of butter and some regular oil because I ran out of whatever. Whatever, whatever. Okay, and here is Mr. Gas. Good morning. He's our salty friend. He's always so salty. It's a grump. You just put in salt to taste, and you know how we like salt around here. Sorry. Speaking of me, go take my medicine. <laughs> and lots and lots of black pepper. Oh, yeah. That's how we like it. You just let it get dark. We like the dark gravy. I'm doing my towel. <clears throat> we like the dark brown southern gravy for our biscuits and toast. Woo, mercy. Mercy. Oh my, y'all, it's smelling good. I wish y'all had smell-o-vision. Woo. <laughs> All right, I've got, got the lumps worked out of it. If there is a few, that's okay. Let's put a little bit more salt in there in there it's in there all right we're just about ready for some milk it's enough flour all right we're going to use a little bit of milk and a little bit of water a little bit of milk and a little bit of water Woo! Here we go. You just pour a little bit of milk in. Now that milk, it being cold, is going to tighten it up really quick. So just keep stirring it, pouring it in slow. Pouring it in slow. That might be enough milk. And you just whisk, whisk, whisk until it gets to the uh, 
thickness that you like it and that the lumps are gone. So let me let that bubble up. Let it bubble up. Let's turn it up a little bit. Turn it up some. <laughs> So, I hope everybody's enjoying my um, cooking. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to have fried chicken, y'all. Yes. Yes, we are. Southern fried chicken and some mashed potatoes. Macaroni and cheese. I don't know what to oh. owe. Fresh green beans, probably some cornbread. Okay, let's put some water in now. Thin it out just a little. It was getting thick really quick because I turned it up. More salt, you know it. And more pepper. This time I'm not going to put it through the mesh strainer to get the lumps out because I don't care if there's lumps in it. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes the lumps are good. <laughs> whisk, whisk, whisk. A little bit more water. Oh my. I believe that's enough water. Enough waters. Go put me some toast in. All right, got the toast in. We could turn this off now. It's probably done. Oh my! Hey, that's all there is to making gravy. That's it. Really simple. And if you want it um, without the lumps, um, get you a mesh strainer and put it over your bowl that you're going to put your gravy in and just pour it out of the pan into that mesh strainer. And, you know, of course, the lumps will stay behind in the strainer. So um, I did that on the other time I made gravy, but this time I'm not going to because it doesn't look like there's many lumps anyway. But uh, even if there is, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. Oh, man, it sure smells good. That's for sure. And I've got the eye turned off, but with these cast iron skillets, boy, they hold the heat for a while. So it's still going to cook a little bit unless I take it out and put it in a bowl. Which I think I'm just going to leave it in the pan. Because, like I said, nobody's up yet to eat. And that way, when they get up, um, it'll still be warming on the stove. And it'll save a dirty dish, a dirty bowl. <laughs> I can just dip it out of this pan. All right. And that's it, guys. Let me show you what it looks like. Looks like that right there. That is my gravy.